Howdy dowdy crazlings. Today I'm going to dissect a pin and it is a picture of a car, like a getaway car or a honeymoon car after someone gets married. So it's going to be a wedding card. <laughs> and I'm not sure how it was done, but I went ahead and take a took a really long look at it and tried to dissect it and I think I've come up with how to put it together. So what I did was I used my circle nesting dies. I used the largest one and then I took some ovals also and I'm using a silver paper and I'm going to use a black for the tires and then a black for the the bumper or the back of the car I don't know anything about cars, as you can tell. But I'm also going to turn it into an easel card. So why don't we get started, and I think we're going to have some fun. So I've got my main circle here, and what I'm going to do is put some glue on my ovals. and put it on the back, like so. So it kind of looks like a car. Now the car idea was not mine. I just saw it on Pinterest and I wanted to make it, but I wasn't sure how to. And I'm going to put the tires on. <laughs> it almost looks like Kirby. <laughs> how cute. <laughs> well, now I know how to make Kirby. Alright, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my cutter -a jig <laughs> I don't know why I can't think of any of the names today. Alright, so we're looking at 3 and 3 fourths. Did I say four and... no, it's three and three-fourths. And then let's do an inch. So let's do an inch and a half, just in case. Um, yeah, let's do one inch. I think that'll look better, actually. Whoa. Alrighty. Let's give that a whirl. Alright, now I'm going to round it. Oops. I'm going to round it so it looks like a bumper or a fender or whatever you call it. See if I can get it pretty straight there. And then. Take a look at that. How does that look? I think it could be a little smaller, actually. I 
I'm going to do the little notches that I know some cars have. And I think, yeah, I have it in this picture too. move these up a little bit. They seem to be... And I think I'm going to clip the... Because tires aren't exactly like that. They're not very oval-like. They're more round. I'm not sure. Cars up. I don't know. Cars are not my forte. That is for certain. All right. Getting blue all over the place. So. What I've got is oops, this is an Inka Dinka Doo set called Wedding. <laughs> Go figure. I would assume it would be called Wedding. I mean, what I'm going to do is take the bride and groom, Ugh. put it on my block here, and I'm going to take my black paper here. I'm not sure if a black will show up. Hopefully it will. Oops. This is all experimentation, but that is how you get crafty goodness. Oh yes, that'll work perfectly. This is what I used on my invitations, but I think it'll work for what I need it to do. My little car is bending. All right, I'm going to go ahead and cut these guys out. Just place these two right here. That big dress will help keep her down. Glued on in there. Cut it a little bit, her little veil. That looks pretty good. So I'm kind of doing this like with all the stuff that I have, trying to uh, use up my stuff and not have to go out and get anything for this one particular card. I think that's looking good. Alright, so let's go ahead and fold our card. I have the hot dog style card. I'm going to fold it in half. And then I have, I've scored all the lines. And then I have it scored half again. 
so that it comes up to make an eagle. And I like to do a double fold on that one so that it gets a good crease. So there, that is what the easel looks like. Alright. Looking good. So I think I'm going to... I'm not sure if I want to make it like the car is on its own, or maybe, which I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and glue the car down. And then I'm going to cut around the car. I know that sounds crazy, but you'll see in a second how crazy it really is. Okay. Okay. Alright, so now I'm going to use this black paper. That's not going to be long enough. Let's see if I have another piece of black paper. Yay! So I'm going to make kind of like a road. The road to success. I don't know. We shall see. We're going to do five and a half. That was almost five and a half. Chow. Strip of extra paper. All right, and then, whoa. Come on. We'll cut you off later. Four and a quarter. The quarter. And we're going to... glue that on down there. It's a lovely road, isn't it? Alrighty. So now I need a little white spot. Ugh, got glue all over me. Glue all over me. Maybe I have some silver left over. I do. I've got some silver. I think everyone loves their little paper trimmer. You have to. I mean... All right. Now that we have our cute little square rectangle, it's a rectangle, it's like I never went to school, you know, don't mind that, don't know my shapes there. To make the background look like they're going off into the sunset, I guess. I don't know. I'm just going to take some colored pencils and...
All right. I think that looks good. So now I'm going to take the congratulations on your special day. Maybe. Push. First kiss it, it looks like they're riding off into the sunset. Right. But when you flip it up, look at that. How cute. Cute little car. Beep beep. <laughs> so leave me a comment down below. I know you probably all have seen the car pin, so let me know what you thought. <laughs> I know, it it wasn't it wasn't what I expected it to be. <laughs> There's always one of those one the that one card that it turns out so much weirder than what was in your head. But I figured I'd show you guys anyways. I mean it's a pretty simple looking card. I think the easel might have just thrown it off. I don't know. Here, is that better? No, not really. Here. Let's see. So there it is. Cute little card. You let me know if you liked it. I'm still debating if I like it or not. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you guys later. I hope you're having a crazy day. I, sh I know I am. <laughs> Bye.